UFC 263 is well and truly in the bags or in the books. Quote unquote, event has finished. One new champion, Yishrael Adesanya, retains his strap. What a fun pat uh, combat sports weekend we've had. CFR Network, CFR Sports. Thank you so much for tuning in to this year broadcast. Let's go, let's go top, let's go top to the bottom. Israel did his thing. Confidence levels haven't been affected too much uh, based upon his, um, yeah, total shutdown in his um, quest for greatness to try and get that two or five strap, that lightweight strap. He did exactly the same thing, which uh, he was on the receiving end of, but not in the same style, in a striking style, and totally shut down Marvin uh, Vittori, who did nothing in regards to change up his game plan. Single leg. It was very similar of sorts to the Damian Meyer, but with a lot more strikes. Uh, Damian Meyer and Bilal Mohamed, he, he was very, very much one-dimensional. Um plodding around tough durable young 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 man um the first fight i think was a was more competitive he did manage to get him down um but israel's showed improvements as everybody should be doing in this year game because once he got down he sprung back up pretty darn quickly so you know round of applause Round of applause goes to um, Israel Adesanya. He did the thing, retained his strap. Should have finished him now. I, I was actually looking for a finish. Um, but, you know, anything can happen in this year game of um, combat sports. And as we move on to the co, co main event, champion. Well, former flyweight champion Davison Figueiredo had a total flat night. Didn't see himself in regards to the performance. Um, Brandon just, just stuck it on him. I don't think yeah. mm, was the second round. Yeah, I think the second round was closer than the first round. But Brandon just shot him down. Did everything right. Didn't care about his power. Precision was there. And we have ourselves a Mexican champion. And he's a nice guy as well. Funny guy, since, you know, uh, lighthearted, genuine. So, you know, it's time for the, the machine behind the UFC to do what they need to do to, uh, to market this young man and, you know, make him as much money as possible, get him his name into as much households as possible. You know, so congratulations. Um, as I say, yeah, it didn't seem like the the, the Figueroa we normally see. Um, you know, I think the weight cut is clearly affecting him in this particular one. I know there was issues before, but um, whether it's that or not, or just it wasn't his night on that particular night, but congratulations to Brandon uh, Moreno the babyface assassin and new. <laughs> it's always good to hear that, man. It's always good to hear that. I, I didn't expect that. I expected a very similar of sorts um, as their first encounter, but I was expecting uh, Figueroa to, um, to actually finish young Brandon. So uh, yeah, hat it off to you young sir and then we move on to um, a history making welterweight belt um, non co main event non, non main event non co main event but yet a five round fight representing Bromtown Leon Rocky Edwards Stocky on Nate Diaz won a five round um, 
unanimous decision. Because <laughs> as I said, he stuck it on him for the whole the whole thing, for the whole of that term five round um, um, fight. Nate was doing some very strange things, turning his back and stuff. And but you know, they are quite unorthodox, the old uh, Diaz brothers. Um got bloodied up again as as they usually do with all the uh, scar tissues but listen Leon did his thing showed his skills I think people have been listening to a few bits and pieces and people are like oh we didn't finish him you know they gave Nate Diaz for Leon to you know to build his name up off and um, you know have a spectacular performance which he did he just didn't finish him there's not many people who have finished Nate Diaz, for flip's sake. Uh, I mean, Jorge Masvidal didn't finish him. It was the doctors who stopped that deal. So, you know, let's not forget that. Let's not forget that. So, big congratulations to the Bromtown Bully, a.k.a. Leon Rocky Edwards, who should have been fought for this year's strap. Um, and it's going to be a competitive fight, man, because Usman has has improved leaps and bounds. But it sounds like Covington is um, potentially next, and he does deserve it. They should have done an, an immediate rematch. Um, people are saying he broke his draw. I, I want that hundred percent verified. He, he, he did he did look all messed up, and it was bloody and stuff. You know, I want that verified whether his his jaw was actually broken or not. Um, but that's by the way, it was a competitive fight. Um, there was some gamesmanship, you know, by the champion with some of these quote unquote eye pokes and low blows and stuff. Um, and you know, I do like Mark Goddard, but uh, and he's obviously looking to protect, as all referees are, uh, there to protect the fighters. I think he could have let that go still, yeah, no with how short of time that they had on the clock. That should have went to the, a potential decision if he didn't outright lay him out. Um, but yeah. Colby's potentially next for the part two. Um, in the meantime, serve up Street Judas, aka Jorge Masvidal. Not George Masvidal, Jorge Masvidal. Um, to Leon Rocky Edwards, man, he assaulted the young man. I don't know how many times I've got to lay this out, man. He assaulted, he assaulted him in England. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, made merchandise and lots of money out of him assaulting him. And Manaman is running. That's the fight to make. If you're not going to give him the, uh, the title shot, give him Jorge. Cause that's some unfinished business right there. Um, yeah, no, that's what needs to happen. Or, as I say, give him the strap, man, Just give him, give him the opportunity to get that strap and bring it on for um, for Brom, first Birmingham, um, champion within the UFC. That would be excellente, Damian Meyer, veteran of the game, submission specialist. Bilal Mohammed, three round unanimous, unanimous decision. What he was doing, he was was just running in for, and getting a single leg. Bilal had excellent balance, excellente balance. Um, didn't switch nothing up. Didn't drop down. Didn't switch. Didn't fully run the pipe kind of thing, as DC always says. Didn't switch to you know. Didn't chain wrestle. That's the thing. You've got to keep people guessing as uh, foot sweeps and that, that kind of stuff. He, I think he, he's, and I think Dana even said this in the conference that that's, but this is, should, I think will be his last fight within the UFC. I think he should just do his grappling thing now. Or, you know, as I've hinted to before, you know, um, Bezos or um, Mosk or any of those um rich folk put together like a, a legends league man and let's get some of these fighters who still got a little bit of gas in them you know get them to fight each other 
you know, uh, make it a little bit more competitive rather than having these young up and coming guys just like put it on them basically. <laughs> so let's do it, man. Let's just, just create that league. Um, Paul Craig, Ooh. Um, bear you, Scottish lad, Ooh, first round, TKO slash KO. Should have been a submission. One minute and 59 seconds into the first round. Jamal Hill. At first glance, looked like his arm, was, his forearm was damn broken. <laughs> I don't know what that crazy referee was doing. Um, you know, I have never competed inside of the squared circle, the octagon, the cage, or anything like that. But I... I know maneuvers and I can see when someone's arm isn't like, you know, acting right. The referee let that go on an extra, what, 20 odd seconds or some shit? Poor Jamal Hill could have had like um, career ending, career ending injuries from that, dear man. But all praise to the most high. <laughs> um, apparently it was a dislocation. And he was able to be put back in. He's got full range of, men, uh, range of mo mo motion, if I can get my damn words out. Um, so that's good. But that referee, he... And according to the press conference, he always makes kind of... He's like the... As per um, Dana White, he's the, the Mazagati <laughs> of of Arizona. Like that's, 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 that's silly. That's absolutely silly. If he hasn't got enough experience to... Um, you know, officiate an event properly, like the, the, the key, key, you know, especially a main card. Come on, man, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Yeah, so um, good. The, the main event itself, as I said, I would have thought that um, you know, Izzy would have finished him still. Wasn't the most exciting fight, uh, the Judoba and Brad Riddell. That was a banger. Um, could have went either way, still could have went either way. I think the takedowns. Uh, I don't even know. They were both was very very close, man. It could have went either way. Um, very good back and forth. Um, that's wrong. From what I can, what I watch, three round decision, didn't he? No, that's UFC need to update their own website. That was a no contest, and it should have been a disqualification first round with an illegal knee. And this was a uh, rematch at two o five. Unless I've gone into the damn Delorium and watched something else, because that wasn't a three round unanimous decision win for uh, Mr. Eric Anders. Uh, Laura Murphy. Back and forth with Jojo Calderwood, another Scott. She lost, unfortunately. I think Lauren did just about enough to um, to uh, win that. And, uh, ooh, Il Ilova, or whatever the hell his name is, he, um, he put it on uh, Hakeem and uh, <laughs> the wrestling. The re he's, a, he's very good, man. He's very good at featherweight. Um, I've seen him fight before. Um, very interesting to see what uh, they put him up. I think he needs to step up in competition. Hakeem needs to sort out his uh, wrestling takedown defense. But yeah, man, that was it. Like, comment, subscribe, and most definitely share.